I think a couple of months ago, I was uh, outside a hotel in, in Dubai and I was parking my car and the car in front of me started backing and he didn't see me. He didn't look back. So I see he would hit me. And when I was in the car, I was listening to a podcast with you where you were exactly at that time were explaining my business, your business, God's business. And the car hit me, but it wasn't that hard. But he, so it only scratched me a little bit, but for him it was quite hard. So I had to go out and talk to him. And I think when I opened the door, your podcast was still playing. And so this, my business, your business, God's business, is a great model. And I used it at that time. So can you maybe wow. share a little bit about that model? <laughs> yeah, I, many years ago, I think it was 20 years ago, I listened to a fantastic girl. Her name is Byron Katie. And she uh, works all over the world uh, as, as a therapist. And she had a concept she called My Your God's Business. Um, she talked about that how you focus actually gives consequences. And by business, if I just play with the word business, it's not only business-wise in terms of money, it's busyness. It's where you put your you know, focus. Where are you busy? And she meant that if you focus on my business, that's things that I can influence. If I lean forward, backwards, if I'm responsible, or if I say, you know, whatever I do. If I say, I you know, I take it, it's my responsibility. Then I'm sitting in the driver's seat. I, I accept I'm the programmer in my life. And that's my business. If you do that, according to Byron, she said, that gives you sort of a sense of subjective control. I have the control because I'm in charge. Then what that gives you in turn is self-confidence. So confidence in myself because I feel control because right now I'm focusing on things that I can't control. Your business, that is what other people do. In golf, that would be the other players. In life, it would be, I want to be liked by someone or if you live in a, in, a, in a business, what other businesses are doing. You can't influence them directly. You do it indirectly. Uh, God's business, Byron said she was not religious. She meant it was more mother nature. In other words, if you focus on weather, wind and rain, of course, we influence it in the long run, but not in the short term. It's very hard to go out and change the weather, which makes me, I have no control and my self-confidence go down the tubes. Mm. So for instance, my business, your business, God's business. If, I, if you're in your business, have you ever been driving your car and focusing on how someone else should drive his or her car? Then what happens, first of all, whose business are you in now? And what's the consequence in your body? What feelings, emotions do you have? Very much often, irritation, frustration. Meanwhile, when you go back and say, hey, what's my responsibility? Then you feel control. Mm. So that's a huge shift of who owns. Because if you're still into blaming someone else's fault, my parents, blah, blah. In my opinion, you haven't started this journey called your life. It's someone else driving your life. And the toughest part, Oscar, the way I see, is to be responsible, the ability to respond to the situation. Mm. 